men's open bodybuilders going on too late at the 2023 Mr. Olympia. What do you say? What's going on, everyone? Christian Duke, Strength Addicts on all social media platforms, powered by TitanMedicalCenter.com, your go-to source for all the amazing therapies, number one in patient care. I got to tell you, Dave Palumbo hit the nail on the head. The reality of the matter is bodybuilding, while it is the flagship division, while it is the main card, 1030 is way too late. And he's 100% right about the biorhythm of many of these athletes. Many of these guys are asleep by 839, maybe 930. You know, and they're up at like five in the morning doing fasted cardio. They got all their meals regimented. And I understand the headliner goes last. I get it. But 1030, that's way too late. And so, like you said, you know, if it had been one or two guys, you could blame it on conditioning. But when all of the guys seem to be, a, you know, a little bit out of step, it, it, it really should, uh, you know, give the promoters or whoever's coming up with these time schedules a little bit of food for thought. And apparently it had been done last year as well. I didn't go to last year's Olympia. I had a flight issue. But I got to be honest with you. Something needs to be done because, I mean, you look at the shows, amateur shows and pro shows around the country and around the world. And a lot of them are trying to get everybody home or out of there by 9, maybe 9.30 at night. The whole show's over by 9, 9.30. And those are the shows that run late. A lot of the shows will have their finals even earlier, like at 5 o'clock or 6 o'clock. Because at the end of the day, a ticket sold is a ticket sold. But why make the athletes suffer for no reason? You know what I mean? Nobody wants to be at the contest at 11, 12 o'clock at night. I mean, that's insane. And while people don't want to be there, they're mere spectators. Imagine the poor athletes backstage trying to keep their peak going. I mean, it's it's really not, it's not conducive to the Super Bowl of bodybuilding. So, you know, at the risk of burning bridges, alienating myself, I have to agree 150%. With Dave Palumbo, 10:30 is way too late. But I tell you, you know, you know the Olympia, fantastic, fantastic. I mean, Hadi Chupin and Derek Lunsford and Samson Dowda, these guys. I mean, they really brought it. If I had to say, I mean, I want Derek, but I, I think, I think Derek definitely got the back double bicep. But besides that pose, I'm gonna have to give it to Hadi. I guess we'll see Saturday night tonight. You know what, what the judges decide because at the end of the day doesn't matter what folks on Instagram say or Facebook or YouTube. It doesn't matter even how you look in the prejudging. It's how you look in the finals coupled with the prejudging, the posing rounds. It's a whole variety of factors. You know, Brandon, unfortunately, had to go to the hospital. I had Brandon in my top three just a few days ago. I wrote an article for Iron Magazine. I talked about that. I thought he could actually have won the show. But, I mean, kudos to him for getting on stage after all that. Hunter looked really, really good. Very, very good, in fact. But, um I, I don't think Samson's going to... Know, I know Samson was center stage. I'm sure he might get a, a first place vote here or there. But I really think it's going to go down to the wire between uh, Hadi and Derek again. And like I said, I think Derek won the back double bicep. Maybe he won another pose or two. But if I had to say, me, myself, and I, I would say that Hadi probably did enough to retain the title. But uh, but even still, all of them, as Dave Palumbo pointed out, they were all kind of like a little bit out of it, you know? So again, I just really, really, truly hope that moving forward, uh, that uh, something be done. Again, I'm not suggesting that bodybuilding go first and have bikini go last because that's not going to work either. It's not to say that, you know, the bodybuilders are going to suffer any less than any other physique-based division or even fitness, which is a physique slash, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, gymnastics, you know, it's not just physique, but I'm just saying for any athlete to get on stage at 1030 at night, uh, it's just, it's just way too late. So and I don't think Dave actually went into that. He was just saying that for the bodybuilders, it was too late. I'm saying for any competitor, it's too late. It's just too late. So, you know, uh, maybe the answer will be making the prejudging in the morning and making the finals in the afternoon. And that maybe will have to be the way it moves forward because it's not just bodybuilding anymore it's like 10 divisions so it's not just about moving bodybuilding to the beginning because then what do you do to the other competitors you're gonna put the other competitors on at 10 30 10 30 is just too late all around so is 10 and, and you know honestly so so maybe uh moving forward the idea should be let's put the prejudging in the morning and let's put the finals in the afternoon and maybe at night let's leave that for the media and for the fans you know maybe have you know a, a sort of a, a beefed up expo or something like that I don't know, but again, I, Dave, speaking for so many of us, you know, I, I think Jason Sanch also was in agreement. I think Joe Pietaro was in agreement. I think pretty much everybody that I've seen and heard has been in agreement. 10.30 is too dang late. 
But in any event, fantastic Olympia, fantastic venue. Titan Medical is in the house, fantastic booth. Mike O'Hearn, Big Drew, John and Sharice are all there. Head on over to the titanmedicalcenter.com booth. And if you're not at the O, get the pay-per-view. I heard it's fantastic. And go to titanmedicalcenter.com. Stock up on those peptides because they're not going to be around for long. The FDA ban is coming. It's, it's, it's a thing. So, again, thank you so much to Titan for all their support of Strength Addicts on all social media platforms. You know, and again, uh, congratulations to Keon Pearson, big win in the 212. I personally had Sean Clarita winning before the show. And even during the show, I was kind of like leaning more towards Sean. But I think Keon looked fantastic. And I love the camaraderie between Sean and Keon. Uh, it was it was really, really, really cool. So again, guys, uh, thanks for watching. And uh, 1030 is too dang late.